hello guys uh, today's topic uh, is how to uh, create a web api in the mvc uh, so uh, i going to show you how to do that one so i uh, just right click my controller I... so before i going to that i just explain you shortly what is web api web api is uh, used to uh, transfer the data uh, in a http protocol uh, so it uh, helps to uh, send and receive the request uh, through the HTTP uh, so the WCF uh, uh, have the feature uh, to transfer the data in HTTP uh, TCP uh, so uh, here uh, with the HTTP uh, you want to pause the request so uh, the MVC come up with the web API it's very lightweight and uh, it, it's uh, is a restful completely restful so okay uh, I'll just go and create my controller So before I add my uh, controller, I just want to build up my model. Okay, I just uh, uh, have a database uh, co filter with the students. Uh, so uh, I just I going to uh, create my class in code first approach. So if uh, the people are uh, from the beginner, so just to uh, uh, learn how I'm uh, creating the model and how uh, I just to make uh, use of entity framework and uh, talk with the database. So everything I just uh, doing now from the scratch now. So please observe clearly to get the clear idea. Please if you have any queries, please comment on the video comment section. So I just create my model. So I create one more class. Instance. So now I add my db set uh, type data model uh, ok oops uh, here I just made because my instance is student ok because I created the table called the students so ok 
sih Fine, uh, my data is ready now I go on to confirm my web Okay stuffs my initial kick lock okay so it seems to be everything is ready I just uh, rebuilt one more time the application so that I can uh, show you how to create a strongly typed web API. Okay, fine. I build my model and uh, my uh, controller. So now I'm going to add my web API. So here we have a lot of uh, template options. I just go and create my web API too with action using any different one. Web API controller with a REST action to create, read. Uh, update, delete, and list entries from the entity of the total uh, model with all the stuffs like uh, total rest service it will create. I just select this one, it will ask for the model. Uh, I know my model is student, okay. My uh, DB constant is data instance. I ask it to create the uh, asynchronous model okay students controller so my uh, staff folding it's building my uh, all the uh, restful service from the default it's uh, need a bit of time to build it okay so uh, it's ready now also uh, it's inherit my api controller and uh, it's created my db instance here uh yeah so all the uh stuffs uh, it's created now if you go on the c here this is the total uh, students i can get all the records of the students and this uh get a single students asynchronously i can uh, put the students it's update sorry so it is to post the students add the new student this is for delete the student so now what i going to do uh, i just uh, run my epic i just want to check my whether my data is getting loaded or not or my connection uh, it's built correctly so here uh, i call this api as api so we have a clue that how to retrieve the particular stuffs by using a uh, api slash students uh, if you want to get a particular students example api dot students slash five this is to update api students by using the put method put method response type is void here this at all uh, with the model response type 